Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are introducing a new content in our channel VLSI Design. Today's session we are going to discuss about the introduction of VLSI Design. What is VLSI? So VLSI is a one process to creating an integrated circuits by combining the number of transistors on logic gates in a single IC. It is called as a VLSI Design process. What is the abbreviation of VLSI? Very large scale integrated circuit. It is the abbreviation of VLSI design. What is the need of integration circuits? To reduce the size of the device and to improve the speed of the device. Then, what is the main goal of VLSI design? The first one is increasing the speed of the device. And second one, reduce the power consumption. And third one, reducing the delay. It is the ultimate aim of VLSI design. Then, it is an important topic is scale of integration. The scale of integration is mainly classified based on the number of transistors on logic gates used in a single package of IC. It is called as a scale of integration. Based on the number of transistors on logic gates, you can cl classify the six types of scale of integration. The first one is small scale integration, medium scale, Large scale, very large scale, ultra large, and gain scale. Okay. The first one is small scale integration cycle. In this small scale integration cycles, we have a limited number of transistors on logic gates. The number of transistors here using the 50 number of transistors on 10 number of logic gates only used in a single IC. Example of small scale integration cycle. This type of small scale integration cycles to develop a logical circuits, logical gate and flip flops. The second one is medium scale. In this medium scale integration, we have 50 to 500 number of gates used in a single chip and 100 to 1000 number of transistors used in a single eyes. Appli application of medium scale integration to developing the counter cycle shift register and 4 bit microprocessor then amplifier circuits. The next level large scale integration cycle. In this large scale integration cycle little bit amount of transistors increased compared to medium scale integration. The number of transistors used in a large scale integration 1000 to 10,000 number of transistors accommodate in a single package. The application of large scale integration to developing the RAM and ROM 8 bit microprocessor to performing the addition, subtraction, function and logical function also. The next one, very low scale integrator cycle. In this very low scale integrator cycles, the amount of transistor gradually increase compared to the low scale integration cycle. Here we are using 10,000 number of transistor to 1 million amount of transistors accommodated in a single chip. To developing the 16 bit and 32 bit microprocessor to performing the different function and controlling the peripheral devices. The next one, ultra large scale integrator cycle. It's a very high version. In this ultra large scale integration cycle, you can use the 1 million amount of transistor to 10 million amount of transistors. The application of this ultra large scale integration to developing the special purpose register and small sensor cycles. Next one, gain scale. It is a lost scale of integration. In this integration, you are using more, uh, more than the 10 million amount of transistors and application embedded systems. What is the advantages of VLSI design? The first one is decrease the size of the device. It is very compact. And second one, less expensive. Cost wise, it is very less and third one, increasing the operating speed of the device. And fourth one, less power consumption. And final one is a more reliability. It's a basic introduction of VLSI circuit. Thanks for watching my channel.